This is the next video in a playlist called Probability Measure. And here we're going to show that the Lebesgue Stilches measure is a generalization of Lebesgue measure. So, as a reminder, the Lebesgue Stilches measure is defined like this. So, let A be an element of the Borel set, and then mu of A. So, this is the Lebesgue Stilches measure. Sometimes you use a subscript F because it depends upon the uh, distribution function that's used. So it's the infimum of the union of all these right semi-closed intervals such that A is a subset of it and then you take the minimum or the infimum of that set that just covers A. Where of course the Lebesgue Stilch's measure from A to B is you know F of B minus F of A where F is a right continuous function. Now setting F of X equal to X that's the Lebesgue Stilch's measure, or yeah, it, setting f of x equal to x in the Lebesgue Stilch's measure is the Lebesgue measure. So then it becomes mu of ab is just this difference, a minus b, it's the length of that interval, and that's the Lebesgue measure. Now, the use of the half open intervals is significant because the Lebesgue Stilch's measure can assign a non zero measure to a single point. Now, the Lebesgue measure does not have this property. So, in general, if we take the Lebesgue Stilch's measure of this right semi closed interval, that does not equal, in general, the measure of this closed interval from A to B. Right? For Lebesgue Stilch's measure, that is true. But for the Lebesgue measure, this, the measure of this right semi closed interval is equal to the measure of this closed interval. Um, now, here we're going to, I'm going to illustrate how to generate a, a large class of new measures, okay? So let mu be finite, which means that F is bounded. So mu is the Lebesgue Stilch's measure, F is the distribution function. So F is defined up to an additive constant. Thus, we can define F such that F of minus infinity is zero. Right? So when we take when we look at the Lebesgue Stilch's measure, it's this. So if this if we add a constant to this the function f, then that constant cancels out when we take this difference. So the distribution function is only defined up to what's called an additive constant. So if f of minus infinity is equal to some value say C, right, because we're assuming it's bounded, that means we could subtract C from F, and then that's our new F. And so we redefined F such that minus, F of minus infinity is zero, right? So, th and this is just an FYI that we're going to use later, um, that we may use later, and I'll explain that in a second. So continuing on this concept, let f be continuous, and f be a function from the reals to the reals, and f is uh, greater than or equal to zero, and it's integrable. Then, Le then the Lebesgue Stilch's measure can be defined like this. So mu of a b, of course, is f of b minus f of a, but that's this integral where the derivative of f, capital F, is little f. So this integral, when you evaluate it, is this, which is the Lebesgue Stilch's measure. So now we can uh, just generate, you know, a whole slew of new measures by choosing a different function from reals from the reals, greater than or equal to zero, and it's integrable. So maybe we put the, the normal distribution here, or the chi-square distribution, or the beta distribution. We can generate new measures, and they're all Lebesgue Stilch's measures. Now, a note that if we let f of x equal to 1, then mu of a, b is Lebesgue measure, right? So Lebesgue measure is a specific case of Lebesgue Stilch's measure. And one last point for this video is we're going to talk about Lebesgue measurable sets in a, uh, many of our videos coming up in this playlist. And this little bar means it's actually the completion of the Borel sets. So 
if uh, this notation, script B of script R, so that's the Borel sets of the real number line, completion, then now it's the completion of the Borel sets. Now, the Borel sets is the sigma field generated from these right semi-closed intervals. It turns out you could put any interval there, but we're in the Lebesgue Stilch's measure mindset, so we'll use the right semi-closed interval. That, and the sigma field generated from that is the Borel sets. So, hence the, the closure of the Borel sets are the Borel sets, you know, right, this sigma field, plus any set in R that has Lebesgue measure zero. Right? That's, those are called Lebesgue measurable sets. This, the closure of the Borel set. And I have a video called Complete Measure for more detail if you're interested. And we're going to be referring to Lebesgue measurable sets quite often if we get into integration and some other concept in measure theory. Um, that's it. So that's all I have for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.